And so now in 2011, you know, some years have passed, um, if somebody asked you the dread legacy question and you know, how, what you feel your legacy is actually about, how would you answer that? For me, the main legacy I'd like to leave is, is to be able to enable blank sheets for other people. You know, create those creative spaces where other people have the opportunity to do something that reminds them of their individuality and creative space. Whether I'm doing that through education, um, or whether I'm doing that through creating some ideas that might inspire people to actually um, create their own challenges. I always thought that my work was most successful when people hated it because it meant that they were then producing their own reaction again to my reactive space. I always thought that people shouldn't particularly like what I do, but they should be forced to question it. Um, as soon as people started liking it too much, it, that was it. It was ineffective in some ways. So no, I don't see my legacy as, as my work, um, unless people can find in it um, some new questions that are relevant. And if I had to twist your arm between your shoulder blades and say, come on, Neville, pick one thing, what, what is the thing that you'd look back on with particular pride? Well, the Times was, in a way, was great because having been on the fringe and perceived on the fringe, and then to do something which was so central to the British establishment was, was quite amazing. My mum was really proud of that. Um, if there's anything other than the Times, it's probably Fuse. Um, Fuse is a, a, a kind of experimental magazine where we gave lots of different designers the chance to enter a laboratory, pretty much, for a period of time, and look at what visual language should, should be doing. I think every point in time needs a change in our, in our languages. No. Otherwise, what you're doing is you're using the same language to address changing problems. So I think language is a fluid space. It's continually evolving. And Fuse is still alive. We're producing this year. It's 20 years since Fuse began. I mean, that's extraordinary. And this year we're putting together a book of uh, 1 to 20 of Fuse, 400 pages. Um, uh, it, it's stunning. I'm really proud of Fuse. And I think I'd like to see it continue to inspire and challenge.